In this segment, we will discuss about writing a BSDL code for T multiplexer using TST. Now, in this video lecture, we will discuss about how to write the code for 1 is to 8 TMAPs. So, let us first discuss about what actually mean by D multiplexer and then we will come across its BSDL code. So, here you can see a schematic for or a functional diagram for demultiplexer. Demultiplexer is basically a combinational circuit that has a single input and multiple outputs. So based on that, the term input can be connected to either of the outputs starting from the given input lines. Now the decision of which input line should be connected across the output is taken by select lines. So here ultimately we will have a single input line, we will have some select lines and n number of output lines. So based on that we can come across writing its stroke table. As per as the multi demultiplexer 1 is to 8 is considered, we have a single input line and 8 output lines starting from y0 to y0. Now as we have 8 output lines, there will be 3 select lines S2, S1, S0. Here 2 raised to 3 becomes 8, so the decision of select lines will be S2, S1, S0. Now coming back to its truth table, here we have 3 select lines, S2, S1, S0 and if we have 3 input lines, there will be 8 combination starting with the first one 0, 0, 0, then 0, 0, 1 and so on up to the last case 1, 1, 1. Now whenever the select line is 0, 0, 0, that means select line combination is 0, 0, 0, input line will be connected across y0 and remaining all output lines are going to be off of simply logic 0. So in case of output you can see from y7 up to y1 all the output lines are disabled that means they are connected to 0 and input line is connected across y0. Similarly when I come across the next combination 0 0 1 where the input line D in is connected to Y. Now in the subsequent cases, when it is 0, 1, 0, D in is connected to Y2. In next combination, input line is connected to Y3 and it repeats up to the last case when we have the combination 1, 1, 1. Now in this case, the input line D in will be connected across output line number 7. So based upon that, in any of the condition, one input line is connected to in a, one of the output combination and all other one to be disabled. Now based on that, let us come and see how will you write a VHDL code for T1 combination. So we will start with declaring the library of as usual I triple E. We will use it and from that we will use the standard package dot all. Let us come across declaring the entity as entity dmux 1 is to 8 is. Then I can declare its port. We have a single input line which is given as D in. There is a vector for select line 2 down to 0 that will generate S2, S1, S0. And there will be 7 output lines, sorry, 8 output lines starting from Y7 to Y0. We will end it. Now we will come across declaring the architecture. Architecture style of modeling is behavioral and entity name is Dmux. Now we will initialize the statement and will come across process. In case of process, our declarations are going to be select line and an input line as D in. Let us initialize process statement with the begin statement and now we will come across case statement. So here I have written case, the sensitivity list is S is. So whatever the decision is there, it is taken based on select line combination. We have the first combination as when S is 0, 0, 0. Your output will be connected for the first seven terms it is zero and for last y0 it is connected across one now here we will consider d in as one that indicates it is enabled and all other lines are connected to the zero or they are simply disabled similarly in next combination when it is zero zero one y1 is connected with one when one zero one zero y2 will be connected with logic one in next combinations, y3 will be connected with 1. When 100, zero, zero, y4 is connected to 1. In case of 101, you can see it here, y5 is connected to 1. 
in 1 1 0 6 combination y6 is connected to 1 and when 1 1 1 output line y7 is connected with logic 1 and in other case now if any of the combination is not satisfied we have to quote the last statement when others output will be undefined that is given as all x x x or we can put it only 0 0 0 0 that will be fine so this is going to be the case statements for all eight combination finally we'll end first the case statement which we analyzed then we'll end the process and end the architecture so here end the process and end the architecture so this is going to be vsdl code for 1 is to 8 demultiplexer using case statements i hope you understood the concept thank you very much